doing this as a follow-up to my VLOOKUP how-to video. As someone who has used Excel for over 20 years, I know errors are very common with VLOOKUP, so let's look at the solutions to the dreaded N slash A error. If any of my solutions help you, I'd appreciate you clicking the gray like button to blue. For VLOOKUPs, NA errors represent unmatched data. There are four types. One, exact match option. Two, leading or trailing spaces in your text data. Three, mismatch in data types. Or finally, missing data. Note the solutions for each will also be written in the description below. Let's look at exact match. There is an optional parameter in the VLOOKUP function called range lookup. While you do not need to remember that name, you will find it can produce errors if you ignore it. Basically, you're specifying if you want an exact or an approximate match. Experience has taught me you almost always want an exact match. So we indicate that by adding a comma zero or a comma with the word false after the comma index value. Let me demonstrate that here. As you can see, as soon as I added it to the zero parameter, the VLOOKUP is able to complete the matching. The second error cause is leading or trailing spaces. This can occur when you're matching text data as I am here with A, B, and C. You can't see it, but there is a trailing space after the letter C in the lookup value, therefore invalidating the match. In this solution, we will nest the trim function, which removes all leading and trailing spaces. Then Excel will run the lookup function. As you can now see, Excel is ignoring the trailing C and the VLOOKUP match is successful. Next, we'll look at how data types that are mismatched. In the example here, we're trying to match three to three. While it seems like a match, the lookup value of three is actually a text value while the table array is a number three. Excel will not consider this a match, so VLOOKUP will fail. We can manage this with nesting or embedding a function within a function. Where we previously used the trim function to deal with spaces, we will now add a number value function to convert the text three to a numeric three. As you can now see, the VLOOKUP successfully matched the two numeral threes together, even though one of them is a text three. The last NA error message is due to missing data. In this case, there is a number 45 in the lookup value, but 45 is not in the table array to the right. An easy solution is to add 45. However, that may not be the solution that you're looking for. One, you may not want 45 to actually have a value. Or second, there could be many numbers in the lookup value and you don't want to go through and have to manually add them. So how can we handle that one? There is within Excel a formula called if error. When you embed the overall VLOOKUP within the if error, it will actually allow you to state what to display when any error is encountered. So that's what we will do here. What I'm going to do is I want the word unknown to appear anytime an error is encountered. Now unknown will show up in my VLOOKUP, but you could actually place any value, any text, or you could actually put a blank there. So it's up to you to decide what value you want to return when an error is encountered that you do not want to have a match with the other table. As you become more experienced with VLOOKUP, these solutions will be natural for you as you build out future VLOOKUP functions. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, please leave a comment letting me know if there are any other Excel areas I can help you with. Have a great day.